Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got a Halloween treat bag to take to work, school, doctors, friends, neighbors. It's super easy, super frugal and I just wanted to show you how I do it. And also this could be transformed for really any special holiday occasion just because it's just my technique. So let me show you the materials that we're gonna need to do the Halloween one. Some type of tape. I prefer packing tape um, because of the weight of the items I'm putting in here, but whatever tape works for you. Um, washi. I've got Halloween washi because I'm doing a Halloween bag. But if you're doing this for Christmas, Valentine's Day, President's Day, Arbor Day, whatever day, you just need some decoration. Um, I also have some different stickers. I got these stickers at the dollar spot at Target and they were a dollar or Bullseye's Eyes Playground. I got these two sticker sheets at the Dollar Tree um, in the Halloween section and these are like metally metallic looking stickers. Um, but any sticker will do. Rubber stamps, paint, crayons, you could have your kid color them. Now we need some of these bags. Here's what's fun. I bought two packages of them thinking, oh yeah, good. Thinking they were a 12 pack. No, they used to be a 12 pack because this is one I dug out of my stash and they came in 12 to a pack. And this is the one I just picked up and they were only eight to a pack. So I, I mean, I have to buy some more, but these are for Christmas I bought to do an advent calendar, but I had to bust into a pack of these, so instead of two of these for my advent calendar of the three of the eight, we'll need three packs. But anyway, so I needed 14 bags. So I busted into these, and these are in the wedding section at the Dollar Tree. Let me throw that away. And I just use like a gift, an old gift card for the washi tape. Not necessary. And then some treats. I'm doing Halloween candy. I've been couponing at CVS for all this candy. I basically got it all for free. So, ooh, and now I'm throwing things. So I'll give that, give it to my coworkers because I don't even need candy. And my coffee today is Dunkin' Donuts Vanilla. And my I decorate with cats mug on that side. And on this side, it says Crazy Cat Lady. It's appropriate. All right, let me twist you around and I will show you how simple this is. One moment. I'm only going to do two. I have the rest done and I'll show you some of them when I'm finished. Um, so you take one of these. This is how they come out of the package. And you do have to fold them up. You can see the fold lines. But we're going to decorate them first and then fold them. So I have some boys. I have some girls. It doesn't really matter. But we're going to decorate these. Uh, we'll do some. This is the washi tape that I like. And I want this to say completely Happy Halloween across it with the two skulls. So we're going to do that. Um, one of these gift cards, if you're using this paper tape, come in handy to tear it. And now you get almost a perfect cut. And the same thing over here. And that's just it. And this, if you don't know what washi tape is, it's paper tape. Almost like a decorated masking tape, I suppose. But it's much thinner. But it's super fun. I've got so much washi tape. I am on a spending freeze with the washi unless I come across something super spectacular. Or spooktacular. <laughs> All right, well, that one just says Happy Halloween. On this one, maybe we'll do some orange and black pumpkins. Um, washi tape is everywhere, but I usually get mine at like Michael's or Joanne. Here, we'll put this one at the top. And the fun thing about washi, let's say I put it there and didn't like it. It literally comes right off. It's um, it's very forgiving. I use it a lot in my planner or my bullet journal. But let's do this across the top. And um, if you're going to do washi, these are actually better than scissors. Because you can just rip it. Just like that. So we'll put that away. I also have some orange with black bats and I have some skeletons. I think I bought a pack at Michael's that was seasonal. It had all the different holidays in it. And that these are skeletons, which are super fun. But we'll put those away. 
And then you can just decorate however you want your child, however, it doesn't matter. I mean, these are just plain white. You can rubber stamp, anything like that. We're going to do some pumpkins on this one. We'll put a pumpkin over here, and then this um, is super fun, but I like out of this pack, Boo and Eek. So we'll do that over here, cat fur out of there. This teal color seems to be big this season, um, at Target anyway, and Eek. So there we go. You can just decorate. I just do the front. But you can literally do whatever you want. This one's going to have some ghosts and black cats on it. Um, yeah, you can do whatever you like. You could put people's names on them. I'm not going to do that because I don't know who will be there on the day that I bring these to work, which actually this year will be on Halloween. We're having a little um, bake-off at my office and a... Um, like decorate your desk and stuff so I thought I would bring these in now the only step you have to do is build these boxes is you need to fold on the lines so I typically go this direction and then I fold the top in but not all the way down if you want to fill these bags and then seal them up here you can I am gonna have too much candy to do that I'm not quite I think I'm done but I might want to buy some pens or something to stick in with this candy um, and then you just fold down your sides like this. And I'll show you the other one as well. Now, on the way I do it is I put the two sides down. I put this one down and then I tuck this in. Now, or not. Lies. I put <laughs> this one down and then the two sides. And then that tab, I'll show you again, goes right into here. Right, this is paper though, and so I feel like, oh, I'm not even in camera here. I feel like if I don't put some tape down here, that the weight of that is going to, or the weight of this candy is going to bust out the bottom. So I've also done these with hot glue. And then I just seal the bottom up, and then I put it down here like that and push the tape, just to make sure it's stuck. And that's just gonna hold it nice and good. So let's do it again, and this time I'll make sure I'm in camera, in, the, in frame. Let's start using the right terms here. So I open it up. You just got to kind of fold it on the sides at the top. And then I go around the bottom, and I fold them down along these seams. Now, if you're a good paper person, and you know how to make paper boxes, I mean, this is just cardstock. Go for it. But to me, buying eight or 12 for a dollar is really cheaper and easier than making them. But if you got a lot of cardstock you wanna burn up and you know how to do it. All right, I put that this one in first, then I do these two sides, and then I come in with this top piece here. And now the bottom is secured. And it will hold a fair amount of weight. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna put like ribbons or anything. Um, you can use like, some of that fake paper grass stuff shred I think it's called it's just messy in a situation like this I have done that at Easter time but it's messy and then I fill it with the candies of our choosing oh I need to get one more well maybe not I don't know we'll see I have more Reese's so let me open it up and pull out one more Reese's peanut butter cup I actually have a lot of candy back here, um, but sometimes I buy the non-seasonal, so I didn't get the um, pumpkin-shaped Reese or the bats because I'm going to keep some, and Christmas is right around the corner, and I like to give candy for that, too. So, the way I do it is I put my Reese's, a Twix, a regular fun size Milky Way, a Reese's, a Twix, a Milky Way. We have these Scream or Extreme or Extreme, I guess. So this is a seasonal Snicker and then a regular Snicker. And I don't have any more of the Caramel Milky Way, so we'll just do a regular, another regular Milky Way. 
And that's it. And then if I decide to do like a pen, we'll do two Milky Ways, two Snickers, a regular Snickers. There we go. I think that's all the candy. And this is just extra that I'll pack up and bring in. And then if I decide that I want to, I could tie a ribbon, I'll make a bow, stick a pen down here in the corner, or I don't know, something, maybe. We'll see. I've got about a week and a half until I need these, or two weeks, so. But that's it. That's what I'm doing for my coworkers for Halloween. I hope you enjoyed, and this gives you some ideas of what you can do as well. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye.